When my hair looks like this, I never want to do a vlog. I just don't know how to stop the poofiness of my hair. If I put it in a ponytail, it literally looks like I've got a pom-pom on my head. Don't tell me that doesn't look like a pom-pom. Well, this is what we're going to work with. Well, or not work with. This is what I'm going to have on my head for the day. We have a really exciting day ahead of us. We don't. You're going to come along with me because I thought you can see what a day in the life of Mia Baker is like. Not that it's very interesting. First things first, I need to change our bed sheets. Look that. It's just grim. Also, for a mid to late 20 year old, my skin is always like fluctuating i see people when they have the most beautifully smooth skin at, at what age do you stop getting spots because it's just not cool and I'm, I'm done with being a teenager i'm ready to move on into my late 20s knocking on the door of 30s just spot just please leave me alone Thank you. Anyway, I'm gonna change my bed sheets. I actually just bought some new bed sheets from the White Company, which is pretty bougie to be honest with you because they're not exactly the cheapest bed sheets in the world, but I do always kind of splurge on certain things like laptops, phones, bedding, because I feel like I'm in there literally, I'm gonna say half of my life, half of my life I am in a bed. And so I just feel like it's fair that I have really nice bed sheets and really nice duvets and whatever I can to make my bed luxurious sleep because whenever I go to a hotel and it's a really nice bed and I'm like oh my god I wish I had this I'm like you know what I'm old enough why can't I have it so I actually went to the shops to feel all of the bed sheets before I actually bought them because I, I couldn't bother with the like whole returns thing it was so nice I got the Savoy ones so let's make that look much prettier alrighty let's turn this into a sleeping dream Beautiful. This feels like liquid gold. I think I should have called this vlog like the real housewives of London. So I feel like today, change the bed, gonna do the washing, need to take out the bins. Probably Hoover. Welcome to the real housewives of London, guys. It's amazing what like an hour does to my hair. It looks even better than it did, well, it looked terrible a minute ago. Don't tell me you didn't look at my hair and think it looked awful. I looked at my hair and I thought it looked awful. Gravity, it's a wonderful thing. I really fancied doing some yoga this morning. Honestly, I've been feeling a little bit like meh recently. Kind of like, I don't know, like I don't have all my energy in my body and I feel like I'm just drained all the time and it's so annoying because I want to feel really productive. I want to feel like, oh, I'm excited to do this and this and this. I just feel like crap. I don't know. I have no idea what it is. I don't know if it's winter. I definitely feel like I get SID. Does anyone else get SID? The seasonal... What's it called? Yeah, I've just been feeling a little bit like... I don't know. Do you know what it is? I think I don't feel like I'm in control of my life. I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing and I constantly have no idea what I'm doing. Maybe I'm just a bit lost. I don't know. I'm gonna lie to you. I feel like totally overwhelmed in the golf world. I feel totally overwhelmed in the social media world, in the YouTube world. I just feel like there's so many people doing so many really amazing things and I feel way out of my depth. Like, I'm a bad golfer. I'm not a great golfer. And I've not been doing it for very long. It's not like I've been playing golf since I was 10, so I'm like, oh yeah, I've got like, I don't know, 15 years experience of golf. I don't. I'm like super new. I've got experience in other areas But I don't have experience in social media. I don't have experience in YouTube I'm just kind of like figuring stuff out going with it. I feel like everyone else knows what they're doing But I think not everyone knows what they're doing. I definitely feel like it looks like and it always seems like it looks like everyone else knows what they're doing, but actually Nobody knows what they're doing. I don't really know. I think I'm gonna keep going and just see what happens um, with golf and everything in 2022. I do love working in the golf industry. It's honestly such an awesome industry. I, all the people are so nice. I love all the events. Like, I do really, really love it. I weirdly really like talking in front of a camera. So I'm thinking maybe I could do something a bit more substantial talking in front of a camera. I could, I could be like a fun person on TV who just talks about random stuff and is just like happy and does random stuff 
that sounds like a bit of me. And, and any ideas on what could be a really interesting thing for me to be? What shall I be when I grow up? I don't understand how these people are born like, I'm gonna be a doctor, I'm gonna be an actor, I'm gonna be this, I'm gonna be that. I've never known. And I feel like I never will know. And I feel like that goes around in my head like a crazy, I actually don't know what I'm doing with my life. So we're gonna do some yoga and we're gonna de-stress because as you can tell, I'm probably a little bit stressed. My mind is going a little bit mad. I think I might be late to the party. Apparently, Adrienne, Adrienne is really good for yoga. So I'm gonna try her morning yoga flow. So hopefully I'm going to come out feeling refreshed and like a new woman. In this vlog I've literally just edited, I tell you that I'm buying a new laptop. It's the Oreo Truffle one. If you've not seen it, you'll have seen it before this one came out. But this is literally the reason why. It crashes every single time. I literally have three things open, Final Cut Pro, Spotify, and Finder. It's absolutely insane. Anyway, if you want to make the best Oreo Truffles in the whole entire world, watch this vlog. It's the best. I know I did say I was going to do yoga first, but I ended up doing like a whole edit of a video first. But now I'm going to do my yoga. I just, just felt like, Editing, so I went and then I started editing and then I kind of just did the whole thing. So now it's exporting, it's actually a double whammy because now I can do my yoga and I'm being twice as efficient as I would have been. I'm so excited for this yoga. I know I said I was gonna do the morning yoga flow but now it's not even morning anymore. So I'm thinking, do I do the like de-stress yoga flow? What do you think? De-stress, morning, de-stress, morning. Okay, I'll do the de-stress. I think I need to de-stress. Yeah, I've just been thinking a little bit about what I said to you a minute ago about feeling a little bit overwhelmed in the golf industry because I feel like I don't really know what I'm doing and I feel a little bit like everyone else knows exactly what they're doing, which obviously, I don't know if it's true or if it's not true, but like, I don't know, maybe you guys think I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Don't tell anyone, I literally have no clue. But then I realized it's actually the best thing ever because I'm like learning. This is when I'm doing my growth and I'm doing something new. And if I didn't feel overwhelmed, then I'd feel comfortable. Do I want to feel comfortable? No, I don't want to feel comfortable. Or do I want to feel comfortable? No, we don't want to feel comfortable. We want to feel, you want our mind to feel interested because literally you are only here once. Life is short, it's meant to be lived. Do the things you want to do, do the things you love and do it with a smile on your face. I don't know, I feel like there's been a few sad passings recently, you know. Just changes perspective on life, doesn't it? It just makes you remember that, why would you continue to do something that you don't absolutely love when you could do something you do love? I don't know, I had a coffee, I had a coffee. This is literally what happens to me. My head goes round and round and round and it spins so quickly and then one minute I'm like, oh my God, and the next minute, oh my God, I wanna do this. I can't keep up with myself, I need to learn to chill. Anyone, help, I need to learn to chill. I think this is just forever gonna be like my natural status quo, it's just slightly unchilled and slightly on edge, but also really excited and like buzzing to do more things. Anyone else? Please don't tell me I'm the only person who is kind of like unhinged Mia. I think you mean unhinged. I don't know, I don't know what, what do I call myself? I don't know. We're actually going for deep relaxation and full body stretch. Yoga with Bud, I don't know who that is. So we're gonna do it. Okay, you guys aren't gonna watch me do yoga. I'll catch up with you after. Okay, we just completed that yoga session. Better than I expected, very relaxing. The hardest thing I find is making my mind not think about the tasks that I need to do. So then I was like, oh, I arranged to do this, I arranged to do that. I was like, no Mia, concentrate on your yoga. Don't think about anything else, the other stuff will wait, it's only 15 minutes. So I'm quite proud of myself for actually just powering through and not stopping midway and being like, ooh, I should go and do this now. But we do have tasks that we need to do. You can see my, dub my double tripods going on there. I actually need to take a post photo. So Pulse Roll, which is like the mini massage gun, they've just got a new product that's just launched, which is white, looks really, really cool. I'll show you actually. Where is it gone? They've just got a brand new massage gun and I need to take a post for it because I need to put it on my feed on my Instagram on December the 2nd. They are actually really good like when I get a sore shoulder putting a pulse roll on your shoulder is actually super super nice and I actually really like the mini ones because they're actually portable. Sometimes big things I just find like they take up too much room. They're equally as powerful I swear down and I actually really like the colour white. I love white things I just think they look so clean so fresh. So this is what we need to take content of today. Nice pulse, it actually looks quite cool on this pink background, doesn't it? This is the new pulse we gone. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go take some content pics. Now I've just created content for this really cool mini gun. I'm gonna show you anyway, seeing as I've just used it. You literally press this button here. It actually gets stronger if you press it again, you can hear it. You get even stronger, oh my God, that's insane. <laughs> 
Anyway, I like it on this one. And it feels so good. Oh, do you ever get that feeling sometimes when you're like, oh, I could really do with the massage. That's when I like to whip this out and I'm like, I could actually give myself a massage. It does make it go a little bit red. Why have I got a scratch on my neck? I've got a rash. Well, I've got a rash for? Don't know what I've got a rash about. Is that a rash? Is that legit a rash? I don't know what's going on there. Can't be a stress rash. I'm not stressed. I'm not stressed. But yeah, I like, I only like, really like working with brands that I think the products are really cool or really interesting. It's one of those ones which you don't think you want. And then when you get it, you're kind of a bit like, actually, all those times when I've been like, oh, I could do with a massage. You just whip it out and you're like, it's actually quite nice. Or if you get someone else to do it for you, that's also quite nice. What do you think about my hair up in a ponytail, by the way? I never have it up in a ponytail. I don't really like my face. Like, I just feel like I've got a funny face. There's also another brand that I'm going to be working with really soon. Um, they're called Redly. And I think it's called Redly. Redly. Readly. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them before. But the concept, genuinely, I, I swear I made up the concept myself, like, years ago. But effectively, you pay $7.99 and you can pretty much read any magazine ever. And it's all in one app. So literally... Do you remember when you used to go to, I don't know if you guys did, but like WH Smith or just before holiday and there's just so many magazines and you kind of want to read them all but you know you can't A, carry them all, slash B, they are quite expensive. Like some of the magazines, I swear, are like more than five pounds, which is mental. Readly is basically the subscription service where you get to read all of the magazines in one app which is pretty insane. I have heard of it before, I've never used it. So when they asked me if I wanted to work with them, do like a couple of stories and stuff, I was like, yeah, this sounds really cool. Also, it feels like one of those things where I'm like, I think other people would actually benefit from this. You know, you can get some really naff companies and they're like, I don't really know what they're doing. I don't actually think their product is that great. I don't even know how they've got that far with their product. And some of them are definitely scams. Some of them are definitely scams. But this one I actually genuinely think is really cool. So if you're on my Insta, you'll see it on my story soon and you'll be able to see that you can get a little, it's like a discount. We get the first month free, basically, if you use my special link, which I don't have on me right now, but it's going to be on my stories. And yeah, I mean, you can cancel it any time. That's the beauty of it. So you can literally try it for a month. Hate it, love it, cancel it, keep it. Why would I not share that with you? That's like the coolest thing to share. I should love little things like that, which is actually really useful for you guys to know about that you probably wouldn't have heard about because I wouldn't have necessarily heard about it unless they got in touch with me. And I genuinely appreciate those people on Insta who give me ideas and I'm like, God, that's a good idea. I really want to try that. I never even heard of that before. So I've just done a post for today. I actually did yoga post for today because I just did yoga. I've got my post ready for pulse roll. Oh my God, I've got something else to show you. So obviously my book, my book. book. Ooh, perfect. Oreo truffles has been exported so I can upload that to YouTube in a minute. This is what I wanted to show you. My landing page for my book is now live on American Golf, which is so cool. Company says out of stock. Hopefully by this week, once all of the books are delivered, you can actually start buying it. Obviously been working on this. This is the coolest thing ever. That's my hand. I'm officially a hand model. And yes, that that's also me. Guys, please go and buy my book. This is like the biggest achievement I've ever done in my life and I'm so 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 excited. I just wanted to show you that because I'm like really 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 excited that I actually have like a landing page on a genuine website that is an actual like proper company for my book that I've written. How insane is that? Oh, I, I know I've already done a vlog about my book but I'm so excited. Please tell me if you've bought it, if you love it. Please just tell me that you love it. If you hate it, just don't, don't tell me that you hate it because you'll be like yeah you'll be breaking my heart a little bit anyway this is the day in the life of me a baker it's so random it's so busy you can understand why i'm a bit like what the hell am i doing i've just been doing some of my emails and i'm going to do a giveaway for christmas with american golf there's some actually really really cool prizes they've suggested that one of the prizes be a round of golf with me people want to play a round of golf with me i just don't feel like they do why would anyone want to play a round of golf with me I feel like people don't care about playing around with golf with me but they would care about winning a trolley trolleys are amazing adidas outfits some tp5s golf balls four dozen of them actually that's quite a lot we lose quite a lot a tailor-made putter very nice one of my books signed by me. 
that is a good prize. And then the last one potentially being a round of golf with me. So if Tiger Woods had a competition to win a round of golf with Tiger Woods, I'd be like, mm, actually, I might want to do a round of golf with Tiger Woods. If it was Mia Baker, who the hell is Mia Baker? She ain't no Tiger Woods, she ain't won any majors. All right, Oreo Truffles is being uploaded and it's gonna be live tonight. It's the best video you'll ever watch if you wanna make Oreo Truffles. I've literally just realized I haven't eaten or drank all day today. And I think it's like three o'clock. So I'm making some toast. I'm contemplating between jam on toast or cheese on toast. We went for cheese because I was feeling savoury, but I couldn't be bothered to grate it, so slices. I genuinely have no idea where the day's gone. Mmm, nice. Cathedral City, always. What are you looking at? Don't judge me in cake. We're coming out of a dark TikTok hole, but it's market research. I made a TikTok. If you wonder if I hate you, I don't. Thing with TikTok is literally you have to do it like all the time because it's just like such fast content. I don't know if I'm too old for it, but if you want to follow me, it's Mia Ella X with an underscore because someone still managed to steal Mia Ella X. Who on earth would use that handle? Like even for me, I'm like, that is a ridiculous handle. Why did I put an X on the end? I don't know if you remember those times when you're like younger and emails were kind of like a new thing and you want to be called like baby girl, cutie tootie, 233 at hotmail.com. That's what I feel like happened on my Instagram. Mia Ella. What an X, because it's cute, like a little kiss. Now we're stuck with it. Cool. Hot chocolate vibes. Don't know why I'm craving it a lot at the moment. There is actually two hidden marshmallows under there. It's pretty late. We've had a very busy but productive day. I need to go and do some house chores now, like the washing. And I should take the bins out as well, but I kind of can't be bothered to do that. And I kind of just want to leave it there. Don't you want to get side but I will take the bins out. My next video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unleash my soul to you. And we're gonna get to know each other on a deeper level. Because social media, I just feel like you get to know like the me, but not like the me me. And I want you to get to know the me me because it's the me me. You know what I mean? And YouTube's quite good for that. Spending the day with me. I mean, I chat to you like you're here with me, which kind of you are, I don't know. It's nice. But I did put on my Insta story the other day, questions you ask me, like deeper, more meaningful questions. So we're gonna do a video where I'm gonna answer all of those. I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner, to be honest with you. There's leftover curry from yesterday, which I could have, but if George comes home, then he'll have that, and then I'll just probably have some like Chinese noodles. Otherwise, if he's not coming home, then I'll eat the curry. But yeah, I also need to sort out my Christmas presents. I haven't sorted any of those out. But I kind of have sorted them out, but I'm not like properly sorted them out. I need to sort them out. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this little day out vlog with me. Day in. We didn't go out, did we? Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will catch up with you in my next video. Thank you so much for spending the day with me. It's been so nice to have you and I love you all so much. Goodbye. Have a lovely evening, day, morning. Mmm.